we've already told you that Saturday's game against Holy Cross will be the first played in this venue since 1993. It was dubbed the final rage in the cage as the Minutemen welcomed Louisiana Lafayette to Amherst. Let's take a look back at that event, courtesy of the 100 seasons of UMass Basketball documentary. The cage is college basketball. That's really where you should be playing college games. But because of the recruiting and the revenue from a bigger building, you're forced to move into a 10 or 20,000 seat arena to impress people. I'll embrace the Mullen Center with my good right arm, but don't, uh, don't grieve if I leave that left arm around the way to the grand old lady, Curry HK, because there have been just so many good memories. With construction on the Mullen Center scheduled to be completed in January, Coach Cal's Minutemen began the season with a solid 11-4 record and carried a five-game winning streak into the final game at the cage. January 31st, 1993, a nationally televised battle against Southwestern Louisiana, a team that had won an NCAA tournament game the previous season. It was a made-for-TV event. The Rage in the Cage meets the Ragin' Cajuns. The timing was a little awkward. You figure if you're opening a brand new arena, you would tend to want to do that at the beginning of a season. Didn't happen that way. Talk about an unbelievable night. Obviously, we couldn't lose that game, leaving the cage on the last night. The place was a jam-packed house. The students were beating the doors down to get in. Me and about 50 of my friends were standing outside the cage before the game, which was, there was a million people out there. And I remember the side door was open, and Coach Cal, the locker rooms were right there. So Coach Cal kind of came out and asked one of the police officers, he said, what's going on out there? Oh, it's just, you know, guys, we wait for them to come in. I'm not sure about these guys. And all of a sudden, he just said to all of us, it was like 30 guys, he goes, guys, come on in. And one by one, we just walked in the door. It was so loud in there, and people talking to you and sweating. You felt like you were going to pass out. Everybody wanted to be at that game, and we were there for hours. And by the time the game started, we had no voices left from being outside in a, in a freezing cold night, chanting and singing the whole time. We had nothing left. And it was just a fantastic way to close that building for us to come out with a W, the fanfare, the uh, national television audience. That was the way the cage should have ended. It should have been stopped on that particular night against the Raging Cajuns. The cage is going to be here another 60 years. Don't screw it up and mess up this floor, the backboard, the rims, or anything. UMass won the game by 10. Wow, are those some unbelievable memories and highlights. I can still hear the band playing the Rage in the Cage. I can still see the place packed and jam. Some unbelievable memories from being a player and now a coach here at UMass.